read a brief uh, statement here, and then I'll answer your questions that you might have. The Illinois Police Department has concluded the investigation into illegal prescribing of controlled substances by Elwood Dr. Gregory L. Spangler. Uh, Spangler, who's 56 years of age and resides at 20860 Eagle Road in Noseville, was taken into custody this morning shortly after he uh, and his attorney uh, met with investigators. Dr. Spangler was arrested on three counts of reckless dispensing of a controlled substance, which are all Class D felonies. He was later transported to the Madison County Jail where he's held on a $5,000 bond and has since posted bond and been released. This case began in February when family and friends of a female patient of Dr. Spangler's notified the police that he was dispensing controlled substances to this 41-year-old uh, patient in other people's names. He continued to write the prescriptions to the patient even after she was removed from the narcotics she was on and, with, and as a patient from his practice. Dr. Spangler wrote 16 different prescriptions to the patient using three different names. He was initially charged with one count for each name, although that could change uh, once he, uh, his case gets to the prosecutor's office. The, the patient's medical record uh, revealed that uh, she had received 84 pres prescriptions for controlled substances in the course of an 18-month period. They were Alprazolam, which is Xanax, Hydros, Methadone, uh, Diazepam, which is Valium, and uh, the hydrocodones are also referred to as Lortab or Lorsev or Vicodin. And what about patients who are his current patients and want their record? As far as the business, it, there's other doctors in there, which I don't think the business is going to close. As far as his license, the DEA has asked for it to be surrendered, which that's in the process of doing. It'll now be up to the medical licensing board to see whether he maintains his medical license and then they'll have to act on the medical license issue. The DEA only deals with his part of his registration that uh, controls his dispensing of controlled substances. What was his take? What did he say about all this? I believe that uh, he knows that the choices that he made were wrong and I think he's taken action to correct it. Meaning what? What do you mean action? Owning up to what he did and his cooperation and investigation and moving, trying to move forward to uh, get his license back at some future date, just continue to help patients. So he admitted to you that he did this? Yes. Well, what did he say? He said that he gave her scripts in these different people's names. At the time, though, it was under the uh, assumption that these were going to these other patients. So there's some money exchange, favors exchange, something like that. Nothing that, no money that we, can, we have found that's been exchanged or anything like that. No relationship outside of professional? I can't answer that. So it's a possibility? It's a possibility. So is this somebody that you know personally? Yes, I do. How do you feel about this kind of thing happening and this, the allegations against him? I think it's a very unfortunate situation where someone made you know, very, very bad choices. Has he been in the area, Dr. Spangler, uh, the, since his suspension? Do you know if he's no. remained in the area? No. He has not been, or you don't no, know? No, he's not. Okay. It's my understanding he was in some type of treatment, and that's why he wasn't available until today. Treatment for? I can't answer that. I'm sorry, clarify that. When was he in treatment? He was in treatment at, after the conclusion of our investigation and was not available till today or in the last couple of weeks. So he was arrested yesterday or? Today, this today. morning. 